Kia ora, year 13 and 12. In this video, I'm going to go through the odd numbered questions in Delta 34.1. They are all proofs of trig identities. So I want you to watch my setting out. Make sure that yours is at this level of detail. Okay, so first we state what we're required to prove. So sec of x times cot of x is equal to cosec of x. Right, so we start with the left hand side. And we manipulate that. So set x cot x is equal to 1 over cos x times cos x. Whoops, cos x over sine x. Right, so really all these are is algebra. Right, so there we've got 1 over sine x, which is equal to cos x of x. All right, so first one done. Right, number three. Remember, I'm just doing the odd numbers. You can do the rest. Okay, tan x times cos squared x. All right, longer one. Minus cot x sine squared x. And we want to prove that that's equal to zero. So unfortunately, I am going to make you write that first left-hand side line out all over again. So here we go. So we get tan of x cos squared x minus cot x. Probably should be cot x for cotan, but I just say cot. Right, so there's that, and that equals, now let's just pop in the definitions. So sine of x over cosine of x cos squared x minus cosine x over sine of x times sine squared of x. Right, simplifying through, got a common factor in here of cosine of x with that one there. So we get sine of x, cosine of x minus cos of x. Right, same thing here, I've got a sine of x here and a sine squared of x here. So cos x sine x. So we've got AB minus BA equals zero. So you can either put equals RHS or you can also put as required is another way to do it. Or the last way you can do it is you can draw this weird square box thing. Don't ask me where that comes from. I should know that, but I can't remember. Okay, on to the next one. Right, number five. We want to prove that cosec x divided by cot x is equal to sec x. So we start on the left and we work towards the right. Right, write out what it is you're manipulating. So there's that. Right, cosec of x is equal to 1 over sine of x divided by cot of x. So we're dividing by cos of x over sine of x. Right, right, year 9 fractions, or probably year 7 fractions. 1 over sine x times sine of x over cosine of x, which equals 1 over cosine of x, which is sec of x as required. Okay, there's another one done. Right, as usual, make sure that you can do these completely on your own. So if you need to, rewind the video, pause it, and then and watch it again. Okay, next one is question number seven from Delta. So we want to show that cos of x over tan of x is equal to one minus sine squared of x over sine of x. Right, so start on the left and work to the right. Cos of x over tan of x is equal to cos of x divided by sine of x over cosine of x, which equals cos of x times sine of x over cosine of x. Now, what have I done? Oh, I've marked it up. Look. Right, I can get rid of this, but you can't do it that easily. So there we go. Stupid mistake. 
Um, of course, when you divide by a fraction, you times by the reciprocal. That's better. Okay, times cosine of x divided by sine of x. Now, if that happens to you when you're doing it, you're going to get a clue because you're going to keep going and you're not going to get closer to the right-hand side. So keep looking back at where we're headed, which is up to here. Okay, so that equals cos squared of x over sine of x. Right, but I know from this identity, sine squared x plus cos squared of x equals 1, that I can rewrite this. So this is equal to 1 minus sine squared of x over sine of x as required. Right, I have got three more that I'm going to do, but I'm going to do them in a separate video to keep this one really short. So thanks for watching. Um, excuse any background noise, it's my kids on the trampoline.